With the Caitlin Clark scenario, I've learned that a lot of you haven't been roasted in school. Talk trash ever. So this is Devontae's story. I know I have some stories about getting cooked in school. One of my run-on jokes was that was that I was short and loud. Not that I'm tall now, but I'm definitely not a pipsqueak like I was in early middle school, early high school. That was my main thing. And coming up with tall nigga jokes, couldn't really do it. So you just had to be a disrespectful bastard. <laughs> you a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> You, you, you gotta do that shit, bro. You gotta do that shit, bro. I thought I was 5'9". Everybody tells me I'm taller. And I ain't seen a doctor in... Oh, shit. This is not good. I ain't seen a doctor in like three, four years. <laughs> Chat, see a doctor, man. If see a doctor. If your barber forgot to alcohol your head <laughs> shit. after a cut, oh, and you fuck. come to school with the back of your head looking like a dread sponge... Oh, my God. One... I'm sorry. Now, I know everybody has at least that one nigga in the friend group that is beyond the hairline police. You better be able to take the sharpest of rulers and make sure that not one degree is out of bent or cook. Like, I, I know. I'm not that guy. Because that nigga's annoying. But I will say, I, I believe in a good cut. <laughs> I do believe in a good cut. I do believe you take care of your hair. Nah, if you was one of the niggas that got fucked up hairlines, fucked up fades in school, I I ain't got no touch for that, my nigga. We looking at your shit. I think getting flamed in front of everybody got to be the worst thing that can happen to you. Like, uh, it depends well, how you twist not it. The worst, but regardless, it ain't fun, bro. I tell people all the time, keep them jokes on you, cause you never know. 100 percent gonna pull up and embarrass you in front of either your little friends, randos. You gotta keep jokes that apply to everyone everywhere. Or worse, your crush happened to me all the time growing up. It still does. See, I look at it like a martial art that every man in school should learn because whether you like it or not, it's a part of school culture. It was the one- Did y'all niggas actually Joan doing <laughs> There was this one kid in my class. And it was fucked up because he could actually Joan, but he was like a silent kid. He, so he was like socially awkward, but funny as hell, like me. So the nigga with dead ass be cooling it and let a motherfucker just like clown him or like snigger about him. And like, he know they talking about them, but they ain't really talking about them. He'll literally be like, what, what's funny or some shit. And then the motherfucker was bold to be like your pet, your baggy ass pants or some shit. He, he dead ass Jones like these, like he, he be like, oh fuck no blabby, we ain't know your ass all day. <laughs> He's ugly as shit. The thing that separated the men. <laughs> he from ugly the boys. as hell, bro. bro. If they had a class for roasting. You know the niggas actually do that world wide, or was it just him? I probably would have failed the class though, because there's a bunch of dudes way better at it than me walking. Oh yeah, I, I ain't top tier. Of, I'm like, like that, but I ain't top tier. Hundred billion. Those are the dudes you Solid don't want to mess with. Like you knew who to start it with and who not to, based off of if you seen or heard them cooking before. Yep. Especially the black roast force kid. Y'all know who that is. That one kid that's like an S tier roaster and got everybody laughing 24 7 and yep. everybody know not to try him and if he try you be prepared to be embarrassed and not be able to do anything about it every school has one mm -hmm. <laughs> you weren't to catch me trying him are you crazy if not a single soul tried to bucket beerus after he smacked the hairline <laughs> off of vegeta for trying to buck what make you think i'm finna buck at the black rose force kid yeah you gotta Look, let some niggas rock that ain't even matter because if they was losing the battle they direct the attention of the roast on the oh yeah else. oh the fuck is you laughing for Yo, meat boy, like nah, nah, nah. The who? Uh, I know you're not laughing, nigga. Yo, you, it's it's ah oh, man. That maybe that's pretty nigga privilege. We talk about pretty girl privilege all the time. Yo, pretty nigga privilege is a thing. And my first argument is. I know your ass ain't laughing. Instant. It's just like uh, the nigga ugly, so now he's in the shit. And all he did was laugh. <laughs> all he did was laugh. You you got the nigga with his girl laughing, him and his girl having a good time. You got the one motherfucker that's his man's, he, he hyping up his man's with the jokes. You got another motherfucker laughing, and he a homeboy, but he like, <laughs> he cooking your dumb ass. And then all because Ronald McDonald is in the corner. Tee -hee -hee. I know your ugly ass, but I but, 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 built it. Like, oh, Lord. Oh, oh, God. Why? Why? What the fuck did Ronald do? <laughs> what did Ronald do? Like, you couldn't. You want to know the worst part is? Always chat. Niggas always get away with it. That's why it keeps happening. Is that not why it keeps happening? Niggas always get away with it.
It ain't, it ain't never been one row session in the time of God that a nigga went to the I know you not laughing motherfucker Someone spoke up and said bro. Hold on bro. Hold on bro. You ain't gonna run and it actually was effective Like it all like someone might do that once in a blue moon And then somehow that it just doesn't matter and they're on the person that I know you shouldn't have been laughing It, it always goes there no matter what the fuck went down <laughs> And I've been I've been the guy that's been cooking somebody and then he tried to be like hold on hold on hold on bro because you some shit too and then they were like nah 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 I was talking about you and then them two niggas is now like the star of the show type shit I'm like oh my god can't can't save the shit bro pretty nigga privilege is a thing bro I swear and this right here is the prime example boy I know you ain't laughing then proceed to yep. pull a Mustang fire your ass up yep. see all my life I was thrown in an environment where I was forced to learn how to roast people because if I didn't I go home every day with yeah. third degree mental burn. Yeah, you got like to. In school, you got bro, to. You can get roasted for literally anything. And sometimes you wearing a James somebody sport, was born, You come to school with mismatching brands on. You finna get fired up. Yep. You come to school with Assassin's Creed gloves on. You're the goat. I love Assassin's Creed. But you finna get fired yep. up. Okay, maybe that's more accepted nowadays. Since yeah. Okay. Side note. Intermission. Sorry to keep pausing. There was an argument on the TL, let alone my podcast, y'all. Ain't it crazy that like wearing anime shit nowadays? Days, just fucking cool ain't that shit crazy that shit is wild like nowadays if you pull up with like a turtle hermit little motherfucking logo or some motherfucking uh or like uh, i don't fucking know like a naruto hidden leaf logo or something you know what i'm saying nah obviously you go in that motherfucker with whiskers on your face naruto running you getting cooked like, like, all right, bro. Oh, head ass. If you pull up with just like an accessory or like a Dragon Ball keychain or like some other shit, niggas are like, oh, that's hard. Or like a Dragon Ball shirt. Oh, oh, that's hard. Like, that's crazy. I'm not, I'm not one of them niggas that is going to act like motherfuckers that didn't get bullied for it back then. Didn't likely do weird shit. But what I will say is any motherfucker that's going to sit there and act like it was not a thing. Where if you just had anime shit, they were like, all right, that kid is weird. Nowadays. These bitches is dressing as Hanada and Sakura for Halloween. It's like, holy shit, I thought it was the Kit Kat. I thought I thought you were supposed to be a goddamn kitty. Now they're like, oh, I, I don't know. Like, do they make fun of y'all still nowadays? That's a good question. School? Do they still make fun of you? Comment section. Anywho, you come to school. Pretty flooded, sure it's You finna get fired up. If your barber forgot to alcohol your head after a cut and you come to school with the back of your head looking like a dread sponge, one, sue that man. And two, you might as well slap yourself on the grill because you finna get barbecued. Mm -hmm. If you an easy target like I was and you so much as breathe in the direction of a roaster, go ahead and get ready to turn up the heat <laughs> to 105 because you finna get you fired up, my boy. In now, I'm keep it a hundred. The only reason I was an easy target was because I had a fly mouth, tried to fit in by hanging out with the wrong people, right. and had many enemies because I'm a nerd who don't let nobody run over me like a doormat. And because of it, I got roasted just for existing like i always got Damn. pulled up on by ops of all kind all the time no matter where i was i remember this one day back in high school i was in third period football our facility was getting worked on so coach took us all to the pe gym to chill i'm right, sitting right, at right. the top of the bleachers on the second floor trying to finish some homework right everybody downstairs <laughs> laughing and giggling roasting each other for like 15 minutes i'm trying to avoid everybody because i already don't Bobby like spray your shit. There. just me oh, yeah, how i about wanted oh, yeah. next thing i All know right. i hear footsteps tell me why oh, shit. 15 of my teammates walk up the stairs to where i was surrounded me pulled up like the 10 commandments did to meliotis and proceeded to seven deadly sins man 90 percent done that shit's okay right like am i the only one like that shit's okay i thought this shit would be gas and then it just it 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 went from okay you'll never know what to expect to okay shit's just gonna happen <laughs> it's it, it started off like oh this is one of those shows that where like everything is unexpected and it's just like you gotta pay attention to the small details but then when you found out that oh he breathed to the right instead of the left so now that gives him the power of the of the eighth scene like it's like oh my god it, the plot twist weren't even plot twist it was just it was just bad i just didn't like it i don't like and i say this is a person that likes dragon ball y'all i don't like bullshit i don't like bull i know the conception around dragon ball is they have a lot of bullshit that's why i brought up dragon ball naruto has a lot of bullshit so it, yeah but like i don't like that man like a lot of the power-ups a lot of the plot devices a lot of the character arcs it was just like where did this 
come from? And proceeded to barbecue cook my ass for no reason. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating this. 15 of my teammates surrounded me. I counted. I don't think y'all understand the amount of Yeah, at that point you, you just got to to have a you bunch pick of one. people pull you up pick on one. you like that. It's not normal. If it's a fight or anything, one, I'm tiny. Two, boy, I am not tough. I'm going to channel my inner Jake Paul and get to stepping. <laughs> like, bro, this was a roast occur that I couldn't escape. So right. I stayed there and stood my ground. So I'm sitting there about to take the hits, nervous, hands shaking, legs quaking, irritated. Like, bro, what now? Right. State your business. I, I, you I you got to go for one today, person, though. It didn't matter because they. Because the cop out is if you go at one person, you say something funny enough, now it's a ones. But if you let it be a group slaughter, it's going to stay a group slaughter. Like, once you're quiet, it lets niggas know that what they said didn't hurt you. I'm not about to do this health class shit with y'all. It lets niggas know that if you weren't you, that shit would be funny. So, but because it's you, it's not funny. So now it's like, damn, them niggas is actually cooking and they're going to keep cooking. Because jokes get funnier and funnier when other niggas have the ability to slice and shit. You got to go at one nigga that entire time, maybe get a, why you on my dick? Bro, like uh, you just got you got stay on one nigga body when you in a group roast. Like when you're the victim, you gotta go at one nigga for the rest of the time until them niggas leave. Word. Like I already knew what the rock was cooking. Fuck it. Me and my teammates already had static from past experiences. They was getting personal, trying to break me mentally, talking about my looks, my status, my mama, my pops, my dreams, Wallahi. goals, my non-existent love life. All type of thera, word to my mother. So when none of that worked, they started physically threatening me. But not one of them touched me because they knew what type of timing I was on. My mindset mm. with that was, if I'ma die, I'm taking at least one of you with me. And I was dead serious. 100%. Too. Somebody would have got that monkey chop to the throat. Now did I win the one v fifteen? Hell no. What I look like, Madara? I can't take on <laughs> all my ops at once, bro. Yeah. When coach told us to leave, boy, I came out that hole looking like Dobby. Came out that mug with fifth degree burns. Shoot. I need to get into See, my hero, too. this is why too. you always got to max out your roasting skill, bro. Wherever you go. Because you never know what could happen. I don't know about y'all, but at my schools growing up, jokes were mandatory because roasting for us was like our sword and shield because we knew if your roasts could make everybody laugh you won the battle and gained a 100%. new enemy it wasn't no retiring roasting bro you were stuck in that constant cycle until graduation that was our thing you live by the roast you graduate by the roast oh. hey, that's listen. true hey, that's very true up, home slice would you take a dinner with jay-z or five hundred thousand dollars dinner with jay-z what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta take the dinner with Jay, man. You know what Jay Z's gonna do? Jay Z's gonna tell you how to make more money, my guy. Jay Z's gonna tell you how to make more than five. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that era was such the fu oh god, <laughs> oh god, man. But shout out Devontae, another five video, man. I appreciate that.